Throwing flashbang. Boom! Are you awake? Well, you better be because that little flashbang of noise ain't nothing by comparison to what we're going to be subjected to next because... Thank you, Tia, for helping analogize exactly what I was trying to get at because what we're going to be subjected to today is going to be a flashbang to your mind, to your psyche, and every emotional response that you could think of. If you haven't figured it out already, we're going to be watching a Maxwell video. But not just any Maxwell video, we're going to be going back and watching the uh, Metal Gear Rising. Now, I have played through Metal Gear Rising, but I have never watched or uh, neither did I realize that Maxwell had made, made a video for this. And honestly, Maxwell content is the kind of content that you can just consume and enjoy because no matter how old the video is, no matter how old the game that he's made a video on, it is always good content that you can laugh, meme, and enjoy. And apparently there are two parts of this, which means this is going to be beautiful, reactionary, sloppy, algorithmically uh, enticing content. And we all know that I like to take the, the path of least resistance when it comes to putting stuff up on the slop channel. So let's enjoy. And considering this was two years ago, uh, this was sort of in, this was definitely in peak uh, hyperbolic. Ah, this was definitely in peak um, scatterbrain ADHD ridden territory for uh, Maxwell's editing style. And as we, most of us know what Metal Gear Rising is like, I'm pretty sure we can all get, take an assumption that this is going to be an absolute medley of sensory overload so let's enjoy i'm gonna give you a countdown though so, so that those who might be averse to uh flashing lights and beratement of all your senses and have time to swipe away okay i lied metal gear rising revenge oh, i'm gonna be rising baby in the dictionary it's also one of my favorite games besides genshin impact created as I, a okay before i start I honestly, I remember, I remember back in the day, Metal Gear Rising came out and I thought it was an absolute joke. And so did the rest of the internet, apparently. And I love, I absolutely love how myself and the rest of the internet, as time has gone by, has suddenly realized that this was a masterpiece. Not only did it have an amazing OST, but the game is just an, an adrenaline filled anime fest of gritty combat. And I, mm, there has never been a better game from uh, the Metal Gear series, and I refuse to I refuse to uh, back down on that. Spin-off to the critically acclaimed Metal Queer Solid 4, Guns of the Pirates. <laughs> we are cast as Raiden, whose resume Raiden. involves fighting Stupid the Illuminati and a bisexual vampire. Trading off slow hey, stealth hey, gameplay hey, and hey, hey, don't go calls chopping up my specified duration for bisexual pounding action vampire. gameplay, That's my unique fantasy. cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of Dude, any game since mechanics the last one. You know, the one where headache like, this, this game was clunky as fuck to get used to, but once you understand, this is a... This, Getting good at Metal Gear Rising combat mechanics ends up being one of the most cathartic, satisfying experiences of your life. Like, there are some games out there that really push the boundaries um, of learning how the game functions. It's on the same level as feeling like you've gotten good at a Dark Souls game. Puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught in a worldwide conspiracy headed by an evil ah, and destructive the empire called the United now, States. It's up to us to Max, stop listen, Senator buddy, Dwayne you don't Rock put Johnson logic from to a Black, Metal Gear Solid game. Dinosaurs controlled by orphans. You want to ask questions as to the story of a Metal Gear Solid game? Ha! I scoff at your folly. Asking for the plot of a, any Metal Gear Solid game is like saying you watch porn for the plot. Sure, it's there. Sure, you can go looking for it but you're basically doing yourself a disservice and you're only going to be taking up bandwidth in your brain that could have been used for anime waifus. I'm just saying. And fight a series of extremely online YouTube personas for, such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo And we all know that most of what Markiplier, was in this game is either a meme from Kojima set to or was an allegory for postmodern uh, made by the world-famous Toontown online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. Uh, it's, and to it's all an allegory for representing modern social agendas. Like a human-sized slap chop in between philosophy mm, about delicious. the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and memes. I like, they made I, yes. into I love, I love, I love separating families like I separated this man's body parts from his torso. <laughs> a plot point. So if any of that interests you, feel free to join me also, as we dive headlong into in the wonderful game. madness of Metal Gear Rising. I never thought Gears, I needed enough reason to watch the West Bandex. Mm, there we go. Yeah! Also, this game has the best fucking speech in any game ever, and I'm gonna, I'm, I imagine he's gonna get to it in the later in the video, but, um, you know, we are just making the mother roll omelets here, Jack. I feel like I am also morally obligated to also point out that, uh, us playing that game spawned this. 
And this is the most perfect piece of art that's ever existed, ever. <laughs> Also, yes, the, mon the monsoon, dude, monsoon's theme and the fight so for monsoon the is game, definitely one of the top ones in the game. I mean, all of the fights this, in this game are peak, and but monsoon virus. and now Armstrong, beautiful fights. What amazing gameplay. Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsackle Crumbo. He's touring his birthplace Ah, yes, Kenya. miscellaneous president that doesn't States really Obama, exist Mr. in this president world, but is an allegory for real world patriotism. The fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Hey, look. See, Zintak made a cameo in Mac in a Maxor video. Who would have thunk it? Fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? <laughs> I spent three thousand dollars. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Good. Why is Maxor's voice so goddamn juicy? Like, for real, this guy literally has one of the juiciest voices for doing this kind of, like, annotation. And yet, and yet, if any of you guys have ever seen his, uh, fucking Twitter, not only is it filled with the unfathom most unfathomable amount of memes, but how does that voice come from this man? What are you doing, buddy? How does that voice come from this? I don't, I don't, oh, no, I don't. don't do that. No. The, the, the man, not the cat, obviously. Max or is not a cat. No, Wait, on. unless. Please don't do that. I've never seen I've never seen Maxor I've never seen the cat and Maxor not in the same screen together. Maybe the cat is Maxor. Ah, makes you think. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. Hello, my name is Obama. I have a uh, shit my doo doo ass. Don't worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. <gasps> oh, freaking right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the. Okay, I'm gonna say this as well. They had no right making Raiden such a fucking twink. <laughs> like my goddamn anime adult ass can only ever see this guy as a fucking femboy. Like the amount of Rule Thirty Four that has been made of this dude because of all the spandex being a little bottom bitch to Snake. Just, just say, just you know, just, just, just let you know. Enemy in the game. Sweet, 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 now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. <laughs> this is the standout feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability has to cut any other game ever do done this mechanic nature, as good? I don't think it has. Like this game was both. And even this game was both so ahead of its time, I, I but also an so so. Like this game was is is. Was so ahead of its time, but also so endemic of its time as well. Like, wasn't this game a PlayStation 3 thing originally? The PS3. Use oh. it to hit weak points. <laughs> there you go. Confuse your enemies and prevent them from attacking or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, right? Most animals deserve to be extinct. What am I doing? Sir, the fuck is cut Hang through on. the problem. I think I'm hearing uh, boss music. Ah, oh, and the fact they brought Metal Gear Ray into this. Dude. My game crashed. Metal Gear was what you wanted to play when you wanted mech games, but you weren't willing to admit you were a weeb. And I love the fact that the... the bosses of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, the gigantic mechs that you spend the entire games trying to figure out how to beat, in this game, they're treated as chump change. <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, run past everyone. Uh, like, the entire namesake the is the first tutorial say, boss. I'm a specialist. Ah, like, this game was so different, and I love it. It really didn't take itself seriously. Let's hope Obamacare covers euthanasia. My name is Obama. I, uh, shut up. <laughs> Ma, Stop hello, right there. Put down President Bumcrack Osama. <laughs> I'll put him down, all right. But no, I have a giant... I think I finally Obama figured out what, uh, Maxwell's chemistry for comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, Insert I'd stupid, like to dumb you bum to humor. the tutorial boss. We're currently undergoing a learning experience. The one you yes, can only a learning get with experience. A this game's OST this is baller. This is the best game ever made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite I wonder if anyone's actually it's played this game and had a zero hit run. You don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, there's no need to worry, because Raiden is fucking Yeah, drunk. the rules of nature! Life <laughs> <Mission accomplished. laughs> blah, 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 to a locomotive to confront dimes for Okay, for real? 
when it, when are we all just going to own up to the fact that this game is just a boss boss rush game and the only thing like everything that happens between bosses is just filler like any any time you're fighting regular ass enemies in this game it, it is it's it, this is the souls like of the of the metal gear series everything that happens between the bosses is so irrelevant Nothing matters. The only thing that matters is you getting the big bosses and having the big epic fights. Primes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McCall, uh, please change the line. <laughs> no, I don't that right. That, that connection. Good missiles. Obama. Or, uh, Jeff Your Bezos, or, uh, right Elon Musk so without the hair transplants. Nice. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of- Lizzie, thank you for the raid! Face it, Jack. You can't even hold a sword. Ah, uh, Daddy. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Nya, 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 nya. Wow, I've got a really hand it to you, up, Jack, buddy. And you look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Oh you no, my one weakness. Also, who am I? High caliber oh, ammo. I'll be back for you, bitch. See, this, so this whole like puss out moment never really made sense to me. The vacuum of space on his way it happens the... because of the plot. I feel. Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting. Raiden, I'm playing Gen. Jack, why are you so caked up? God damn, you wonder why the internet went mad for those cheeks. Good lord. Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting. Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but ah, I've run mood. out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you yeah, can, same, can you same lend mood, me a uh, hand? Just like me. I will surely stop collecting them. You have a there is an, there so is an the acceptable amount of credit card debt you are allowed to go into to get into Genshin Impact. As Russia. To find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal... This comment didn't age well, did it? <laughs> President Bumsack of Chungus and put oh an dear. end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden begins his journey by encountering three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You oh, see, this dude, is I forgot that's how you heal! Healing, since every <laughs> spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. Mm, this electrolytes. is the actual term Gatorade. Used in the game. Just like American football, the soldiers of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, are fueled by violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a- I, however, am fueled by cringe. For my cringe inhibitors have never known limits, therefore I am limitless in my power! <laughs> Call. You should kill yourself now! Oh. Friendly. So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely Huzzah! optional. So instead, we decide to fight the f Anyone who's ever played this game and utilized the stealth in an unironic fashion is wrong. I'm sorry, I know that, you know, the original Metal Gear Solid games were designed as like a stealth infiltration, Tom Clancy kind of dealio. But you do not play by the rules of nature to sneaky breaky like a cheeky deaky. You... Foot fetish tank, and let me tell you, this <laughs> enemy is, is also, a real why did they make these things move? Their fucking jump speed. Man, why did they make no them move? I don't scenes. get it. No, fuck. No sex offender spotted. Oh. What the oh, Karen, thank you for the reset, dude. Oh, yes, the dog. Fuck is a dog. You are such a fucking Philistine, right? Wait, how do you know my name? <laughs> Philistine? I that has a lot of syllables. I don't understand. Oh, yeah? yeah. How dare you use words with big, with big NSA, syllables? But my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we have Blade It is I, Brian Dog. Let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um, time also, to learn. Where's the reference for what the dog doing? I know what attack this is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels. Which allows us to Fortunately, Blade Wolf will stop yiffing and call Now, some may see this as a very, uh, lackadaisic reference to furries. But by referencing furries, 
Maxwell has made the very smart decision to reference furries. Because if you are going to get attention to your videos, you always pander to the lowest common denominator. And the second a, a fandom knows they've been referenced in something, they will come running. Which might explain why half of my chatter here. <laughs> Call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power of Jesus in our veins, we donate oh, labels Jesus. to Kill Shelter. And Allow the Lord and Savior into your life. Until you die. Somehow, I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you're the boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my God, she spoke to me. <laughs> Jesus. Literally, the average tier three sub to Amaranth. Fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on Stop. Twitter. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on to the best Hey now, don't call me out like this. My favorite I too am live on Twitch. Don't stop advertising my stream. With cool controls, and you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. But what if I want to? Oh my god. It's I a choose. Woman. Please stop Mixed that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus. Wait, 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 wait. Algerian queen. <laughs> well, I mean, it exists. And they streamed two months ago. All right, had to, had to look, had to look for science. Shout out to Big Chungus 29 for the donation. Yo, where's Please my donation? She got 41 donations? Where's my 51 donation, where's my 51 donation huh? You're supposed to be, guys, I cannot be out simped by this bitch. God, I wish that was me. <laughs> same dude, that can same. Be Welcome to the world's first. Hmm. Waifu with multiple limbs. Think of the possibilities. Now stop thinking of those possibilities, you perv. <laughs> Welcome to the world's first boss fight where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark skinned tomboy GF that I've only oh, seen so juggling and slaughtering several varieties yes, of Yes, there is my, my favorite Bakugan. gender of anime waifu. Experience, it Sexy would be tomboy. Or perhaps Pepega, Guys, especially for real after... though, like, can we just like own up to the fact that, like, yeah, you know, big titted anime waifus are kind of cool, but the very underappreciated sexy tomboys. Ah, superior. The Raiden achieves the miracle. I want an anime waifu that looks like animators. they know how to peg. But despite no, I'm some saying? of the occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I uh, I like it when women hit me. <laughs> I mean, I can offer you that if you wish. Just saying. Also, this theme tune. God damn, another banger. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Your Epic. purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. In my stream. It's, it's Wait, why did it clip of me talking you to my chat and totally this? Weird, champ. I, is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no <laughs> matter. With my death, you will never find our six Suka, Bliat. 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. What is he even <laughs> saying? God You're damn. making me feel weird, on. champ, buddy. We need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm, I'm at uh, I'm a Fourth Chinese Street. Factory. Now equipped with a solid Fourth lead Street for this Metal Gear play. Rising Revengeance 2013 video game, it's up to Sonic the Hedgehog to make his way to the city of Mexico, complete with his 50 pounds of smuggled cocaine ah, yes. and a stolen. As we can all, as we can all tell, this uh, that uh, Metal Gear Rising was clearly set in Mexico because the brown, the orange filter was applied, which means, canonically speaking, Breaking Bad. Walter White exists in the Metal Gear universe. Oh God. Uh, Pyro, thank you for the reset. trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. I, 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 can, can we just take a moment? If they had made this game today, this would have been canceled so quickly. Some people call this insensitive and maybe racial stereotyping. But it's fucking funny because it'd be the same thing as them to going to England and wearing a top hat and a monocle going, Oh, yes! Yo, that dude's... Now it's time for writing. Yes, and blending in like an absolute their gremlin. Fallout 3. Hey, what's up, gamers? Maxor here. And today we're going to be questioning why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. I'm starting to get suspicions that Maxor might be a furry. 
There's just like certain things that he says and points out that makes me question. <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's Maxor here. And today we are being that we just like ass Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It, it's a little weird to me that we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Ryan yeah, see, that's what like I mean, right? Like the giant Mel Gear Rex thingy, the, the the Mel Gear Ray, sorry, that big boss that was literally the entire point of Mel Gear Solid Two was a tutorial boss, and then these stupid ass gorilla. The, the, the I, I think they're called gorillas, right? These stupid monkey type. Enemies are the biggest problem in the entire game. I hate them. Hate After them. ripping out his organs, thank God that's the only enemy. Uh, otherwise, I'd have problems. Oh my God! It's a smash tournament. I have to stop it. Oh good, new enemies. I was just mm, about to run delicious. Out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak. English? What the fuck is he saying? Can you repeat that? Pick up the up, I don't noob. know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play the rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous, well-known video game series called Smash Brothers. That's why. Ah, yes, my, uh... He also attacks my... Oh, dude, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. This reference goes even deeper now. Ah, yes. Solid Snake, as seen from hit game Fortnite. <laughs> Oh, what they did to Snake in, uh, in 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 Smash and now in Fortnite is disgusting. They decaked my boy. How dare they? I am offended. Farting. Now you two can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh fuck. Yeah, they they literally Ooh, decaked him. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion. For two minutes, in that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. The stealth is of course optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. The average Fortnite gamer. Children. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while, play some good old <laughs> Gary's mod. We get a call from Boris Johnson, uh, and he tells reference. us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children yeah, in look, future- look, 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 at, look at the first time we ever got to see Raiden. If you ain't telling me that's not a twit, like, no one in the military should be allowed that haircut. Not without, um, being named the bottom bitch. <laughs> that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoos. I should have also made a comment that that was, uh, and to figure out why, why we sneak in like using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US that government one of and spy on the bad guys' webcams before selling them crack. Their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling yeah this um this game this 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 video really did not age well with real world politics right now a boston dynamics dog like normal people they figured the best way to create a robot army was to consult mr epstein so with our also, next dude, target freaking senator armstrong what a random ass main boss protagonist antagonist person like, the dude literally comes out of nowhere. Hey, dude, why are you so strong? Nano machine, son. Like, how to MacGuffin a villain into your game with no pretext, no setup, and still make him the best character in the entire game? <laughs> we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his reverse Uno card and trapping it in a corner no, for you. two minutes, dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than I that family on the guy. highway in I think I've watched him originally. Don't worry, he's a basic enemy in the next I know, I was oh always God. struggling with the I combat mechanic. I, I felt grass. like I was missing Stop something. Right I could never figure it out. Or I'll blow this child. Who also, is this that? Bit his head. Up. I'll blow his head open. Oh, wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does? What's a gun? <laughs> uh, as far as I'm aware, a gun, uh, great, unrivaled nards. Yep, that's what a gun does. So at least nine seconds happen and Ride Inside is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. 
Oh, sweet. My programming is on. Super Idol de Charo. God. Domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so no, long, I'm I, uh, to I entirely disagree. I think we need to have a hard reset of America, personally. Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as they attempt uh -oh. to suppress another the Popo. innocent drunk driver. Careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the Dude, authority, authority I give is my own. Skip it about that. And showing off his yo, was that a skibbity Where's toilet that? reference, guys? He said the line. He said the he said the skibbity. Maxwell predicted skibbity toilet. Oh my god! How dare you, Maxwell? How dare you? Boys, he's white. I'm sorry, ah! officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government and ah, police yeah. are the, influenced uh, by corporations, specifically Dragon Ball the corporation Z. that we've Don't come shoot. to volunteer he's for. This man is donations. black. Although Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas. Ryden heads into an office through the organs of an officer and inside the biggest elevator ever made. We take it down the hard way. Also, they forgot Going to look at my down. Speed. There's even a subway section with this cool new enemy that I've never seen before. <laughs> I don't think anything can ruin this. Oh my god, that game. subway section? I distinctively remember having a mild conniption trying to get through this part. Also, I still find it hysterical they had this alert section up as like a pa as like a callback to the um Older, older Metal Gear Solid games, even though it had no relevancy to the game whatsoever. Enemy that I've never seen before. I don't think anything can ruin this. What's up, gamers? God damn it. Let me tell no! you something important. Not the YouTubers! You're a me and a beta male cuck. I'm only here to dispense justice. That's cringe, Jack, and your setup is weak. You can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Your clout I was gonna say, when are we just gonna openly admit and understand that Jack was never the main character of Metal Gear Revengeance. Like, for real. I, I suppose there's a reason why it, this guy got a DLC all for himself. <laughs> Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Why don't you go back to Facebook and post some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder ZK, and we actually just watched it, funnily you enough. bastard. Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Swag. Oh my god, it's the cringe Talk about hey, baby, uh... Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No. Stop it! He even has a fake Talk about chin. delivery, good lord. This guy's de line delivery is you beautiful. You see now, Jack. How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? Yeah, you know what? I've decided we're going to play this again at some point in the near future. No fun. I want so to play it. I want the adrenaline. So I want the grit. I want to exert my editing, which affects his pent up aggression slightly. against the police. Now emotionally but... compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. You mean the ma not mandatory stealth section? This is the mandatory. Oh, I've got a migraine. Please, somebody give me some Adderall stage. <laughs> You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. <gasps> you best fight! That best fight! What? Name's Jack. My name is Monsoon of the Sussy Imposters. What the fuck? Emergency <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Please stop. Oh my god, that just. Dude, this video came out two years ago. Which makes me realize that Among Us has now officially been out for four years. Why is time not a concentric circle? Why do we age? Minecraft is 15 years, 10 years old. Uh, no. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe. No, I'm cringe, British. Jack. I don't understand so what war is. Understand. We never did anything wrong. Free Smile. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes. The Memes. DNA of the soul. They are our culture. <laughs> our clout. How about full of shit? Is that Amoeba, Yo, no delivery isn't you, Amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. Dude, I would love to see an entire cinematic with Maxwell voicing it. This guy has a like Maxwell has great uh concept for scripting, but his delivery is what sets a lot of this. You're right. About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just like you, but I thought that I is could a be based. Perhaps I am cringe. But that makes, makes me free. free. That's sus. <laughs> Doctor, turn off Super my Saiyan cringe mode. inhibitors. But right, <laughs> subscriber. Do it. Okay. <laughs> I 
was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you can just <laughs> walk off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shitty posts is Wait. a long way. I'm. I've just. I've just realized. I think. I think Raiden is an allegory for my existence. I am so out of touch with what you kids call groovy. I am like somebody. Somebody says, "Yo, dude, I. I am pretty based." Okay. What are you based on? Are you argon, carbon? Are you are you uh, polyethylene based? Like somebody says, somebody says, dude, my Riz factor is up Riz Street, and I'm like, what? Stay off. That's rich coming from the likes of you, Family Guy funny moment. In this boss fight against the Monsus Battle Bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, <laughs> using his good old fashioned <laughs> values upon uh, which he used to arrive. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed for a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the this, human this, Again, this is why so this fight was so good. Like, just how wacky it was, how fast it was. I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation like, 1. I think the thing that got me on the, the most with this was the fact that... You had a sense of elation when you got past a certain section. Like, you... I think that's kind of what made Metal Gear Revengeance so, so satisfying was as as you would keep bashing your face against these bosses, similar to why Dark Souls is so good, you could literally feel yourself getting better at the fight and then you would have that like catharsis of getting to a new stage of the fight and you'd be like, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, we did it. We got to a new stage and then you get your ass beat to you because you don't know the muscle mechanics for the next part. <laughs> His good old fashioned values upon which he used to rely. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed for a cheetah, demanding the absolute most of the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on Yo, the PlayStation James, 1. Thank you, Monsoon that boy. can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his mm -hmm. preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know oh, what? God. I fucking dig it. I can, I can forget that one. Uh, but that's Dora. Thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for joining us. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. down. God, this OSC. I'm gonna be listening to this after the stream, definitely. Hey, Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? Till the end of you. Pairs. Thank you, thank you. I spent four days editing that. Now it and you can tell, people always question, how does he edit these? With a lot of fucking effort. I think I missed, um, I think, I think I remember seeing a while ago, uh, fuck, I think I remember seeing a while ago that some, that he mentioned that editing one of these videos requires about three to four months of solid work. And you can kind of tell, right? Excuse me as I take this call. The memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? <laughs> Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that because your memes end here. Love it. Yo, we got a part two. Excellent. That's amazing. Well, I guess I know what we're going to be watching tomorrow. Ah, you like that, guys? You like those memes? You like the fact that I'm pause champing you? Because I, I, too, like edging. So if you want to come watch that, we'll be, we'll be watching that tomorrow and all that kind of good stuff. So people on Twitch, you'll be there for that. But if you're watching on YouTube, you're probably not going to be here because, haha, this is recorded in the past. Uh, I love you guys, though. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure you drop by the Twitch and all that jazz. And if you're part of Twitch or YouTube, make sure you join our Discord and my Twitter and my social medias and inflate my ego more than it already has been. <laughs> uh, bye!